This video is so long overdue. Manuel Gardner Fernandez, the guitarist that often gets compared to, you guessed it, Tim Henson. In this modern guitar period where harmonics and open string keys are at the height of their popularity, any guitarist that slightly resembles that style is immediately written off as an imitator of Polyphia. Now years ago when Manuel Gardner Fernandez and Unprocess were first gaining some traction, the phrasing style between him and Tim Henson was definitely similar. However, when something remotely new is introduced within a niche, oftentimes anyone that takes inspiration from it early on is going to resemble the other people that are also applying those techniques. That's just what it is. Fast forward a few years, Manuel Gardner Fernandez, in my opinion, has developed a very creative and innovative sound. As time progressed, he started to pull away from the initial modern guitar sound, for lack of better words, and form something that contrasted the typical copy and paste guitar style that was established years before. If you use the song Abandon as a starting point, Unprocessed, as well as Manuel's approach to music, has changed a good bit. Instead of trying to appeal to the metal enthusiasts, their music grew more friendly to accommodate the tastes of a broader audience. They now focus more on melodies, which music as a whole has slowly been shifting towards, and they also cut out the heavy screaming vocals which I would say is a good call because it was putting unprocessed as well as Manuel Gardner in a box that they just didn't need to be put in. If you're gonna compare Manuel to Tim Henson, it's important to note that Tim and Polyphia have a very different sound from years ago when they released Renaissance or even The Most Hated. Very different. But all of these different styles were grown from the same roots that were planted back in the 90s. Only thing is now you have a large collection of guitarists taking these newly popularized concepts and putting their own twist on it. Whenever I hear a track that's drowned in harmonics, I know exactly where that influence likely came from, but if you're using that inspiration to create something original, then hell yeah, go for it. But regurgitating the same sound just because everyone else is doing it is a completely different story. And I don't think Manuel does that. So your eyes bring me price for my life Taking into account Mayor Gardner Fernandez's expressive vocal abilities and tasteful guitar playing, I'd argue what he creates as an artist is quite unique. His voice reminds me of the clean vocals that are present in metal music without the screaming aspect. And although his guitar playing sometimes possesses a lot of technicality, the riffs he writes have a smooth melodic undertone to them. His tone and style have matured more and more over time, and he even has his signature techniques like the ch -ch 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 strumming, or even the way he incorporates thumping into his playing. I'm not saying everything Manuel does is entirely innovative, but I can certainly say that he utilizes his influences in a distinct manner. And I genuinely find the music he makes to be enjoyable. There's not a single artist whose entire discography is a 10 out of 10 for me. So saying I absolutely love everything he and his band puts out is not realistic, but I do find a fair amount of his content replayable, leaving me wanting to come back for more. As the vocalist and primary guitarist for Unprocessed, Manuel Gardner Fernandez plays a vital role in the band's overall production. But it's not like he's always relying on the rest of his band members to pull a track together. He's very much capable of standing alone as he has shown with his solo works. For me, I find his projects to be relatable and not overly complicated. Yes, some of his tracks are a bit flashy and over the top, but that's just what the internet favors. And to some extent, every guitarist in this day of age has a few songs that they put out mainly to just show what they're capable of. The internet is very judgy, so that's understandable. As Tim and Polyphia started seeing that exponential rise in popularity, they had to continue to raise that bar to satisfy the anticipation the internet was clouding them with. Of course, they also wanted to be the best they could, but they were being held to some pretty extreme standards. Nothing wrong with that, they were just playing their cards. Manuel Gardner Fernandez and Unprocessed haven't yet had to deal with all of that outside pressure, and as a regular listener, I'm not complaining. 
they've been able to grow in whatever direction they choose at their own rate. Of course, there's other bands within the genre that they share commonalities with, but the message and emotional feel that they invoke within their music is distinct to them. Rain, Berlin, and Dead Rose are just a few songs that I feel showcase the band's capabilities well. And then you can go over to Manuel's solo works and get that progressive instrumental guitar playing. I'd say they're covering all grounds in terms of what their audience would demand from them. Similar to other modern guitarists, Manuel's music is a fusion of several styles, but it's executed in a way that is special to him. Manuel Grande Fernandez is easily one of my favorite upcoming guitarists, and that is just my opinion. I appreciate the fact that he released his music with versatility. Some of it is repetitive, but I enjoy the tracks where he experiments with taking his sound in a new direction. And for the most part, it lands well, with me at least. Between his vocal work and range of guitar playing, I can easily say that he's on a great path to continue making waves within this genre. Since Manuel's introduction to the internet, I've actively followed what he and Unprocess have been putting out, and I'm here for the journey. I felt a very similar way about Tim Henson and Polyphia for a while, but now that they've reached that prominent level of success, you can clearly tell they are pushing their music towards the mainstream route, and I think they're going to do a killing in that space because they are incredible artists that want to push the limits. Personally, for me, I just fell out of love with the majority of their projects, but I'm not taking anything away from them. And I'm strictly saying Saying this so it's not a surprise when I say that I enjoy Manuel Gardner Fernandez's guitar playing more than Tim Henson's. And for the love of God, that is my opinion, not yours. This video isn't just to highlight what sets Manuel Gardner Fernandez apart from Tim Henson, but I had to address it because I see the topic come up so often. I think he has set himself apart very well and he's full of surprises. Both players are exceptional but they shouldn't be compared to the extent that they are. I'm excited to see where Manuel Gardner Fernandez ends up within the next few years, because it seems like all he's going to do is progress and expand the sound that his audience loves. I'm not sure why people always feel the need to mention that without Tim, there wouldn't be a manual, because that statement is literal dog shit. That's like saying we wouldn't have computers without the Macintosh, or we wouldn't have electric cars without Tesla. Yes, we would, because there's never just one person pioneering an innovative concept. There are always a group of people who are thinking about progressing an idea in a similar way. We all have access to the same information that came before us, and the natural course for literally everything is to get better and develop more and more over time. The real game is just being the loudest, so you can take a lump sum of the credit for the introduction of that new product or idea. And being the first can sometimes backfire because oftentimes people don't respond well to change, and they will bury you before you even get a chance to prove yourself. Polyphia had to deal with that exact thing when they were coming up. That's just how it goes. I'm not using any objective metrics to compare Manuel Gardner Fernandez and Tim Henson, I'm doing this solely based on subjective feelings. And I'm not even going to speak on who's the better guitar player because frankly, it doesn't matter. But personally, I do prefer one over the other. That's my hot take on Manuel Gartner Fernandez. And guess what? He's not Tim Henson. Crazy that even needs to be said. The algorithm has been absolutely killing me lately. So please click that like button and subscribe so I can continue to make these videos. As always, thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time.